G today we will be solving another question from distance time graph and that is from D2 7th edition exercise 2b and the question number is 2. So this graph shows the journey of Ethan who basically started his journey from his home till the post office at point A. Then he stayed some time at the post office because there is a horizontal line and when there is a horizontal line that means distance is not covered because the starting point and the end point have the same values of the distance. Now from his post office he came back and during his way back he stopped over here again horizontal line now here he has his breakfast as given in the question so from O to A he is traveling or he is moving from home to post office with some speed that we will be calculating from B to C again he is traveling and from D to E again he is traveling. So we will be calculating the speed for this section OA, BD and DE by finding the gradients. Now the part A is how far, no focus over here, how far, far means the distance from his home was the post office. This is his home this is post office and what is the distance between his home and his post office so that is on y axis 40 kilometers here the distance is 0 and at this point where the post office is located the distance on y axis is 40 so he was 40 kilometer from his home when he was at post office now find the total time he stayed at post office and at Hawker Center where he had his breakfast. Now the total time for the post office and the Hawker Center is the sum of the time for section AB and for CD. For AB you can have your values this is from 8 till 9 I mean 1 hour and from C to D it is almost half hour. So the total time for both his stays at the post office and at Hawker Center is one and half hour. Answer is one and half hour. Find the gradient of OA, then BD, and then DE. Gradient can be obtained using y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Now, what is y1, x1, y2, and x2? Now, they are the coordinates of two points which we are going to have on this line O and A, OA. So basically one point is O where he started and the second point is A that I am going to consider. We can have point anywhere else but they should be on the line. Now write down the coordinates of point A. The value for X is 8 hours, the value for Y is 40 kilometers. And then write down the coordinates of point O where you have the value for x is 0, 6 hours and value for y, the distance 0. Now you name the coordinates of the points O as, as well as for A, name them. Now if this is x1, then this is y1. So this is x2 and this is y2. Using the formula y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 the formula for gradient so y2 which is 40 minus y1 which is 0 divided by x2 which is 0 8 hours minus x1 6 hours so 8 hours minus 6 hours will give you how many hours 2 hours while 40 minus 0 will give you 40 40 divided by 2 is 20 kilometer per hour so that is his speed. 
from O till A. Now from B to D, you have to find the gradient and you have to tell what does this gradient shows. So from B to D again, use the formula y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Where y1, x1 and y2, x2 are coordinates of B and D respectively, B and C. So write down the coordinates of B. You can, the value for x is 9 hours. 0, 9, 0, 0 and value for y is 40. Similarly, write down the coordinates for c. The value for x is 10, 30 hours, 10, 30, while value for y is 20, where we have distance. So, this is Suppose x2, y2, then this is x1, y1. So, y2 minus y1, y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1, x2 minus x1. 40 minus 20 is 20, while 9 hours minus 10, 30 hours will give you 1 and a half hours, 1.5 hours. 20 divided by 1.5 will give you 13.3 kilometers per hour that is his speed. So we have a negative gradient for this section. Then from D to E you can find the gradient in the same way by first of all marking the coordinates of point D and point E and then using them in the formula y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Coordinates of D are the value for y is 20 and the value for x here is 11. So, 11 hours and 20 the value for y and the value for x is 11. Whereas, at point E we have the value for x is 12 hours this one while value for y is 0. So, if this is x1 this no, sorry x2 then this is y2, if this is x1, this is y1. So, change in y, y2 minus y1, y2 minus y1, 20 minus 0 divided by change in x, 11 minus 12. So, 20 minus 0 is 20, 11 minus 12 is minus 1, so answer will be minus 20 and again this gradient shows his speed in kilometers per hour. Thank you so much.